So please welcome, without further ado, the one and only Heather Locklear. Sweet are you, my little daughter. I I loved being your daughter. You in don't even remember Firestarter. that. Oh, I remember don't... everything about it. Are you kidding? Oh, oh I have the wow. sharpest memory with all of that stuff. Yeah. Wow. Absolutely. That's crazy. Absolutely. In fact, you know what? It happens to be Friday. And, you know, all the kids do fun things on social media, and I thought we would just incorporate it to get into some of our favorite things about you on a little thing <laughs> we're going to call Flashback Friday. <laughs> uh, I would love to be a fly on the wall for some of your extraordinary, iconic roles, but I can't not kick it off with a fire starter. I mean, hello. Oh, fantastic. Um, <laughs> You are just amazing from head to toe, from then till now, and it continued. But you know, I was only 21 at the time, and I'm like, I couldn't believe I was playing a mother of a little girl. I'm like, I have no idea. I have no younger siblings. I don't even know how, what I'm doing. And um, you helped. You were just charming and adorable. Oh, I'm so glad. I Good. I... You were a great girl. That makes me so happy. What surreal lives we live in. I know, it's true. The um, it entertainment so true. <laughs> work. <laughs> but then also, like, I literally, every, Monday, every Wednesday night had parties with my friends. Oh, yeah. We had watching parties of Melrose Place, Amanda Woodward, D&D Advertising. Can you uh, D&D, please... I'm a very important second. Can you please give me, like... A first thing that comes to your mind or a fly on the wall experience from Melrose Place? Okay, first of all, I had those parties because I wasn't on for the first 18 episodes. So I was like, look at this great show. Then people go, you should be on it. I'm like, I'm too old to be on it. And, you know, everyone was in their 20s and I was almost 30. And, um, but a fly, you know, fly on the wall, it was always a lot of work. And, um, but I thought the kind of the coolest part is I was married and I got to bed hop with all these handsome actors and make out. And I was like, what a great job I have. So, you know, you can't do it with other people if you're married, but if it's your work. I know, it's the strangest relationship conversation. You know, <laughs> some people are cool with it and some people are really not cool with it. And it's a very surreal thing. It is, you know, Grant's show um, was dating someone on the show for a while, and I think he wanted to honor her, and we had a bed scene, and, you know, he had no shirt on, and I don't know what I had on, and under the covers, he had full-on jeans and work boots. Yeah. I'm like, um, so it was just really, I thought it was really sweet of him to make, you know, the girl feel good. Uh, okay. Oh, my God. I don't think that the world would be the same without the show Dynasty. Oh, yeah, no, great people. And I mean that, like, on a pop culture level. I mean right. that on an ensemble, successful show level. Um, what was it like to be in Dynasty? First of all, it was incredibly gorgeous. The set looked like a real home. They had, at that time, they had real, like they had huge floral arrangements everywhere and they were real. And I mean, I'm like, that's a lot of money. It's like five grand or something, I think, for yeah. those big things. I mean. But it's gorgeous sets. Blake Carrington. Blake Carrington, yes. And who, who, who is now played by Grant Show. No! Yes, in the new dynasty. Isn't that crazy? That is crazy. Okay. <laughs> T.J. Hooker. <laughs> okay. Well, I'll tell you a little about um, when I first got on, I had, they have the uniform for me, and they go, mm, we need to give her a padded bra. And it was really padded. And so I'm like, okay, I'll put that on. And then one, you know, a couple weeks later, they go, I see something in my dressing room. And it's a, like, underwear with a butt in it. And I'm like, you are not going to make me wear these. My butt's too flat. My boobs are too flat. And so I go, I am not wearing these butt things, and I'm not wearing this bra. Ugh. And then I became Stacey Sheridan. Good for you. <laughs> I love it. I'm, I'm actually going to show a picture in a little bit of 
what your body exactly was. And it is, it literally, you know what, just forget it. Bring it up right now because it's been living rent free in my mind. Oh, right. That's great. I mean, I, you don't alter perfection. That's all I've got oh. to say. You can tell those customers and those people like that. I mean, you, you're so stunning. You're so funny. I think I still have that top. Um, I, but I do. And I have like a rainbow one. Uh, and then um, the makeup though, that was the eighties. It was truly and a lot of makeup, a lot of makeup. Oh, I love it.